Jennifer, we know that you're involved with the youth group, the choir, and many other activities. Why is it you do what you do? Um, I feel that I have a really big, strong feeling of uh, getting the Byzantine mes message out there to others. Um, I have a strong faith in Byzantine. Um, and as you'll hear from my testimony, I, I did everything to try and become a uh, Byzantine. Um, so I pretty much made it my life. I made it the norm. Um, and that's, I don't know, I just feel it's important to get the message out there, and especially for someone my age. You say you did everything possible to become Byzantine. What is it you were before you became Byzantine Catholic? I was nothing. Um, my parents stopped going to the church, um, and then of course, I started coming to church with my grandma, she was Byzantine, my aunt was Byzantine. Um, I started going to the church with them, uh, and then once I came to the church, I saw a bunch of kids that were Byzantine doing fun things and catechism classes, and I really just, I, I wanted to join in that with them. Uh, and so when I did, um, they told me the only thing I could do was to become baptized to actually join the catechism classes here. Uh, so I became baptized. Uh, my whole class watched me. Uh, they actually watched me during the uh, whole ceremony in the back of the church. We had it um, after church one day. Uh, so that was a big, neat thing for them and me as well to experience all of that. Um, and then after that, I, a couple months after that, I made my first Holy Communion with that class. So. Okay. That's interesting. And today you're involved with the youth group now? Because mm -hmm. you came... To be with the youth at that time, and you were yeah. baptized, and now yeah. you're involved with the youth group. Yes, so I made, I made my way up. <laughs> made your way up. That's excellent. What are some of the activities you do with the youth of the parish? Um, we have, well, we do sleepovers, campouts uh, in the summer. We cook hot dogs, and mo roast marshmallows. We have a campground outside, sort of like a campground. We make it our campground, I should say. We bring our tents and sleep over. Um, we do fundraisers, different events. Um, in October, I ran a reverse raffle. Uh, we had dinner, scholarship dinner funds. We've done uh, for scholarship for kids that are going to college. Um, so just a lot of dinners, um, a lot of raising money, and a lot of having fun. We also uh, got the chance to go to California and Byzantine Youth Rally. Uh, that was a really, really neat um, experience for us um, to experience that. We were with a whole bunch of Byzantine uh, Catholics our age uh, over in California, just a week of fun and fun-filled activities. So you had all these activities to raise the funds to go on all these events? Yep. yep. And California seems to have been your farthest one from Ohio then? Oh yeah, yeah, California was the farthest that we've been so far. Um, and then of course we're going to have another one next year. We're trying to raise money for that right now. And where will that be? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't heard yet, but I'm excited. I hope it's somewhere far away. <laughs> That's good. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Yes. I you also mentioned a reverse raffle. Mm -hmm. What was this all about? Uh, it was our first one we held in October. We did really good, and actually, it was my first experience with a reverse raffle. Uh, people bought tickets. Um, we had. I actually had to go out and get donations from a total. Uh, I, I've never actually done getting donations before. So this is actually my first time doing this because it's something that I want to do in my career. Um, is actually going to different businesses and uh, getting donations from them to build gift baskets to raffle off as well as with the reverse raffle going on. Uh, so I ended up making like um, 20, 21 baskets all together for the first year. So I was really impressed with that. Uh, happy that people could come out and donate to the church and uh, you know get this get this reverse raffle going. But for our first year, we did really well, and I'm, I'm hoping we get to do it again. It was really fun, and we had a blast. It was a lot of work, but it was fun. Well, that's good. And you say it was your first time going to the different businesses, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. And I uh, just gave them a letter explaining what we were doing to support our church and uh, you know get some money for some of the stuff that we're doing around here. It wasn't actually for the youth group, but it was for, you know, um, getting a new dome and stuff like that for the church, the roofing and redoing the hall and stuff like that. Uh, so it was money going towards that, but it was still for the church. So. I see. When you say getting a new dome, you mean like refinishing the existing? Yes, yes. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. Is there something you'd like to sh you could share with us that God has enlightened in your life? Um, no, I just feel that I'm here to, to really get that Byzantine message out and um, especially for 
kids my age, um, I feel people my age really don't come to church that much, and I feel that they need God in their life, and they need faith in their life, because, um, I mean, it's important. We, we need to, you know, be more dependent on, you know, things like church, um, you know, take an hour out of our day to pray, or whatever it is, just to have that strong sense of faith, um, no matter what it is. You mentioned needing God in your life, so when you first came to St. Nicholas, you were not baptized. Mm -hmm. Do you recall how old you were when you made the decision that you wanted to be baptized? Yeah, I was eight years old, and the biggest thing for me, like I said, was I wanted to be with those other kids. I wanted to have that sense of the Byzantine in my life. Um, and as soon as I got baptized, I had that, so. You felt that? Yep. Well, that's excellent. You belong to a larger community. Oh, yeah. Yep. And everybody here was really supportive and, you know, all came and they Very congratulated good. me on my, you know, decision to do that. It's a uh, big decision for a young girl oh, yeah. like that, eight yeah. years old. And bringing my parents back to the church, that was a big thing, too. Because oh, yes. an eight-year-old bringing their parents back to the church, you don't you normally see that. That's not right. very normal. Uh, so for me to go back home and tell my parents how I really felt about this church and that I wanted them to be there for me. I wanted them to be involved like I was. Um, so your parents have, have supported you coming here the same oh, yeah. as they've supported you in your yep. activities and your schooling. Yep, yep. And uh, I feel that I would not be in the same place as I am today if it wasn't for the church. Well, that's excellent. 